Hello everyone, today I'll be giving you a quick tour of Particle Builder. I'll be introducing you to Particle Builder, which is an amazing tool created by Pixflow, and it will help you create amazing looking particles, and it will also help improve your workflow greatly. So once you've launched After Effects, to launch Particle Builder, we just need to go to Window, Extensions, and Motion Factory. And then we'll go ahead and snap it over here, and we'll resize it until we have Particle Builder nicely adjusted to our After Effects project. Now before we go over this quick tour, I should explain the difference between Particle Builder and Motion Factory. Motion Factory is the actual plugin created by Pixflow, and Particle Builder is sort of a plugin for Motion Factory. You can download it from the Pixflow website right here, and you can download it either for your Mac or Windows. And one other thing that should be noted is that for Particle Builder to work properly, you'll need Red Giant's Particular. So now let's go ahead and go over the UI itself. We have the logo for Particle Builder up here. We have a search area where we can actually search for particles. So I can sort just by fire here. We have the particle settings, which will bring up all of the settings for a particle, such as the hue, the amount of particles, the size, etc. You can actually sort particles by the types, so you can add them to your favorites, load up fire ones, magic ones, geometric particles, and more. If you're looking through the particles and you see these ones with the locked symbol, that just means you need to purchase the appropriate pack. So there's a starter gear pack, an elemental gear pack, and a magical gear pack, and these will all unlock these types of particles. And finally, there are three different types of particle creation methods. You have a point method, the brush method, and the alpha method. And we will be going over all three of these methods in the following videos. And that's it for this quick tour of Particle Builder. I hope you guys enjoyed, and be sure to check out the other tutorials in this series.